If reels are taking you longer than 20 to 30 minutes, then genuinely like you're doing something wrong and you're just doing too much. But if you actually want to change that and start whipping out edits in like 10 to 15 minutes, then I got you. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do just that in today's tutorial. But first, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shopper to editing assets and presets for content creators just like you to edit better and faster. Now, this holiday season, we're actually running a very crazy sale for the next 12 days up until Christmas. So if you're watching this video before Christmas, go ahead, check out the first link down below and save some money. But most importantly, save more of your time editing. This one's gas, bro. This is actually fire. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. So first things first, we get inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Like, obviously, you guys want to have your video cut and whatnot for the actual editing part. But like, I want to really stress the importance of building a preset pack that you use each and every single day. Now, if you're a creator for yourself, then create presets that you use for your own content. Or if you have different clients, maybe try creating an editing pack for each separate client. So that way, you just open up that pack and you have everything that you need for that specific the clients. Now, I'm going to go through and share with you guys my takeover editing preset pack. So that way you guys can get ideas for your own preset pack to use in the future. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and cop it, please feel free to go ahead and check it out down in the description below. Because honestly, I use it each and every single day and it saves me so, so much time. So the first things first, when you guys are editing short form content is you want to do the color grade. Now, the way that I do color grades now with my takeover preset pack, I just type in takeover. I go over here to my signature let right here. And then I just make sure that the source track is selected so that way it applies to all of my videos drag and drop it over here and as you guys can see i have my LUTs now if you guys want to go ahead and adjust it you go to lumetri color and maybe just throw some more saturation and whatnot um i'm actually gonna just turn the highlights down maybe a little bit and then maybe turn it up the strength just like so just like that maybe turn this actually down a little bit there we go cool so there you go first step literally done color correction now second step is make sure your audio sounds good and the way that i do that is i select all of my audio again go to my takeover preset pack and then i have the mic enhancement preset and then just drag and drop it before you quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got so that's after and this is before the preset before you quit let me tell you something i it's just really quiet and kind of like a little bit muddy then afterwards it's like way louder before you quit let me tell you something and a lot more clear so it just sounds really really good so so the way that I made that preset is actually I went over here to this update. I click this right here, did all of my mic settings just like so through here. And then I went back over here to my effect controls. And then I just selected all of these right click save preset. And then you guys could go ahead and do that for your own pack. So there you go, that's some sauce right there. And then now what I really like to do is just add in the background music. I use a plugin called Premiere Composer. It is actually free if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. Just type in Premiere Composer on Google and you guys are chilling, bro. Like this is actually sauce because you keeps like, like I keep all my B-roll footage in here. I keep my sound effects in here. I keep my overlays that I like to use. I use the day in the life footage, just like this. Some more overlays and then also just important folders, et cetera, et cetera. Like the takeover starter kit. So that way it's like I have everything in one place inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Like I don't even have to leave it. So I like to add in the background music. So I'm just gonna select this background track, hit add, and then I'm gonna go over here and then I'm just gonna line up the, the beat to like the end of the hook. So just like that. And then we're just gonna hit G, shortcut G, and we're gonna go like negative 25. I find that's probably the best value for it. So we really got the audio. Before you quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew. It's a little bit too loud, so do negative like maybe seven, six. Before you quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Figure out your dream a lot. Okay, so it's looking pretty good right now. We have pretty much everything like looking good. Now we just need to add in our text and our hook and like just that little bit of extra sauce. So how are we gonna add in that text? We're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit O for like the out point and then we'll just make sure our end point's over here. I like to go to text, I like to go to transcript. I like to do the generate static transcript. I just really like the older one a lot better. Um, transcribe into out, transcribe, and then it'll transcribe all of your, I guess, words. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead, select this three dots up here, create captions, drag all these all the way to the left, and then lines single, create captions. It'll create the captions for you, which is actually really dope. Because I do remember the pain of editing short form content without auto-generated captions. Let me tell you, it actually freaking sucked. Let's go ahead and let's format our text. So let's go ahead, select it all, and uh, let's go to the properties tab. And we're gonna go to center, just like so. We're gonna bring this down, just like that. That's looking pretty good. Let me maybe make it a little bigger. And then just choose your font of 
choice. I like this font, Akira. You guys can use anything else that you want. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe add like a little, little italicized effect. I'm gonna affect the shadow as well. This is where you just really play around with the text and get it how you like it. Turn the opacity down too. And then I'm actually really liking that. Before we quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Figure out your dream lifestyle first and just forget about the money. Because then Sweet. you're going to be able to pick the business model that... So this is looking really good. So I'm going to go ahead and just select all of the text. I'm going to go to graphics and titles and just upgrade caption to graphic. Essentially what it does is it makes it a video track rather than a caption track. So before we quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Figure out... So I'm going to actually delete this because I do want to add a hook right here. So I'm just going to delete all of that. And then figure out we pretty much have the entire reel done over here. Um, besides like maybe adding some images, some animations, whatnot. But you really just want to keep reels simple, especially if it's like a simple talking head like this. So before we go ahead and get started on the rest of this stuff, I want to go over here and just make the hook. Before you quit, let me so I say before you quit. So I think that's like a pretty like hook worthy sort of bit of text. So before you, I'm just gonna go to Akira, I'm gonna center this as well, just like so. So before you, and then I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Alt or Command. Then I'm gonna use the word quit, just like that. I'm gonna make it bigger, just like so. Then I actually wanna move this down like that. And then I'm gonna move the before you quit up like this. So before you quit that looks pretty good to me so i'm gonna line it up real quick before you quit let me tell you something. fire something thing i and then we're actually just gonna have this um before you quit let me tell you something so i actually like I this be before you quit now i'm gonna go back to my takeover preset pack and then i'm just gonna have this actually slide in up just like so i'm gonna go to the effects controls the keyframe i'm gonna go to the first keyframe and i'm actually gonna move it up just like this so that way it's like a slower you quit let me fade in like that so before you quit let me tell you something i like that that looks really good maybe stretch this out a bit you quit let me tell you something I will. sweet now i'm gonna nest these two so that way i could apply my effects to the text so i'm gonna go ahead and just add a subtle sort of blurry text style drag and drop that blurry text style now you can create these presets yourself super super easily i actually have a lot of these effects broken down in my youtube channel if you guys want to go watch them so i'm going to duplicate this sort of blurry text effect and then i'm going to go down here and add a glow now the way i add a glow again just add to duplicate and then it starts to glow for you before you quit let me tell you something just like that thing i wish i knew before. now that looks really good but uh oh wait no actually cool Okay, six. So now I have the blurry text style. Let me tell you. I want to go ahead and just make it slide down out. So we're going to do that. Slide down out. Before you quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew. Just like that. And then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to add a text glow. Just like so. Glowing text, add to duplicate. And then there you go. You have a glowing text. Before you quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before. That's really freaking sick. That looks amazing. And then we're going to go ahead and add a camera movement. So... You want to go to new item adjustment layer hit okay and this adjustment layer essentially it will control all of the layers below it so if you guys go over here you type in transform or actually have the transform with motion blur blank already here so this is pretty much just like for me so the reason why i made this preset rather than just typing in transform is one so that way i don't have to leave the content editing pack to go do so so like if i had to go look for transform i'd have to leave the takeover pack i didn't want to do that but also I wanted to have the motion blur already applied. So I went ahead and just made a preset of the transform tool with the uh, motion blur already set, ready to go. Just so that way we have immediate sort of access to that motion blur without adding a step to our workflow. The whole point of presets is really just to eliminate as many steps as possible to the editing process. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a zoom in. Before you quit, let me tell you something. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start it right here. Something I wish I knew before. Maybe like zoom in a little bit like so, just like that. And then I'm gonna right click, or I'm gonna select both these keyframes, right click Bezier. We'll see how this looks. Let me tell you something I wish I knew. So that doesn't really look too good. So I'm gonna go to the velocity and sort of like keyframe sort of thing, just like this. And we're gonna make a little ramp like so. Something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Figure out. Sick. Looks really, really clean. 
Before you quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Looks really good. Now, what I would really do is just really take the time before you to really make this look a lot cleaner. Um, maybe add some captions right here. But you guys generally get the gist of like how much time presets really do save you in your workflow. Like you can make your reels look freaking banger in like such a tiny amount of time. And essentially, if you just do the work once really, really well and you save presets along the way, then eventually you're gonna build a catalog of presets that you can use each and every single day that save you hours of time each week. Now, again, if you guys are interested in this preset pack that I have, the Takeover Preset Pack, go ahead and check it out. It will be the first link in the description below. Like I genuinely love this pack. I still use it to this day for all of my content. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.